Nung nandito ka pa sa Pilipinas, you have been threatened uh, by the president, napapatayin ka, you're included in the narco list. Do, do you believe that it was the former president that actually put you in that initiated list that you're talking about? Yes, Your Honor. I believe that, Your Honor. PNP Chief General De La Rosa was not quite honest in his statement. At that time when I was talking to him, Your Honor, I believed in him. But after, Your Honor, I received that call from that general, then I did not believe him anymore. Uh, ito ang sabi ng, ni, ni, Mr., ni former President Duterte, no? Ang sabi niya, saan na yung pinalatan mo, Mayor? Yun ba yung statement niyo, no? Saan ba si Mayor? Hanapin ko sila, magbalik ka dito. Nagmura, patayin talaga kita. Ibig sabihin, talagang itong ating former president, eh, merong galit sa'yo. Totoo po ba yan? Yun sir ang lumalabas sir dahil um, I'm, I'm wondering kung bakit talaga. ng former president ay talaga merong matinding galit sa iyo on that. Congressman Pumare. May, may I continue uh, uh, Mr. Chair? Proceed. Okay, so uh, ito po ano uh, you also said that uh, uh, is uh, Director Lasso here with us of the Bidea? He is uh, present. Uh, Director Lasso, uh, DG Director Lasso here with us, please. Uh, oh, can, can we call him? I'd like to ask you one, just one question. No? Anyway, uh, you received you said in your statement here, uh, number 11, that on August 28, you received an unexpected call from former PNP Regional Director Bernardo Diaz. And this uh, Director Bernardo Diaz invited you so you could be able to meet with the then PNP Chief Ronald De La Rosa. Am I right? For what reason? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, the reason, Your Honor, was uh, uh, the information that I got was uh, the then uh, PNP chief was willing to help me uh, clear my name, Your Honor. So it means that uh, the PNP chief, Ronald De La Rosa, believed that you're innocent? Uh, that is uh, the statement that was uh, given to me by then General Diaz, Your Honor. So it was not PNP Chief Rodel Rosa who told you that uh, he believes that you are innocent? Your Honor, in a separate uh, venue when I was already in Japan and I called uh, General uh, Diaz, uh, I spoke to uh, General, uh, then Chief, PNP Chief General De La Rosa and he told me to come uh, home that as soon as I come home from my international speaking engagement in Japan, that I come, I go to Camp Kramet to see him, because in his words, uh, 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 Mr. Ch uh, Mr. Your Honor, he said, uh, if I can say it in his words, quote unquote, uh, Mayor, na awa na ako sa yo, tutulungan kita, in innocente ka. That was the statement. Yes, Your Honor. He told you to come home. But he told me to come home, yes, And then Your Honor. there is another general, Bata, who expressed sympathy to you, and he told you to uh, don't come home. Uh, Your Honor, yes, that is true, Your Honor. Uh, immediately after that call uh, with uh, General uh, Bato and uh, General Diaz, I got a call with, on my uh, Philippine uh, cell and phone and uh, this was the general who introduced himself and then he said, I'm just going to give you, I'm just going to talk to you uh, uh, short lang and then uh, he told me not to come home. 
Your Honor. Yeah, he, he told you his voice was scream and said, do not return. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, but then PNP chief, Adel Rosa, told you to return. Yes, Your Honor. So you still believe that PNP Adel Rosa is quite honest in telling you you are innocent when he told you to return and the other general told you not to return? Your Honor, uh, yes. As a matter of fact, I really did wanted to return. So that because this is my opportunity that uh, then Chief PNP General Bato told me that he's going to help me. And but, uh, but, uh, Mayor Madwilo, yeah. you still have words. So then Mayor Madwilo, PNP Chief General De La Rosa was not quite honest in his statement. At that time when I was talking to him, Your Honor, I believed in him. But after, Your Honor, I received that call from that general, then I did not believe him anymore. Okay, so we, can, we could be able to establish here, Mr. Chair, that the PNP Director General who told him to come home, and later that day, ba, that day or the next day, uh, what do you mean, Your Honor? I went, when uh, another general told you not to return. Immediately about Immediately. Uh, 10 minutes or 15 minutes after that call, Your Honor. So, ibig sabihin, nalaman kagad nung the, nung the general na yan, na ikaw ay pinapabalik ni the Director General De La Rosa, and then all of a sudden, he said, wag kang babalik. Yes, Your Honor. So, ibig sabihin yan, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, that uh, totoo lang naiisipin mo na palagay mo itong sa PNP Director General De La Rosa hindi honest sa kanyang sinabi. I did not believe him, Your Honor, after that call of the other general. So you did not believe him anymore? Yes, Your Honor. Who is that general? Can you tell us who the general is? Uh, Your Honor, uh, if you would allow me, if you could do that, on executive session because your honor i i actually when i first came in i called the uh, and uh, i called them to thank them for that uh, uh, call and then your honor uh, they said that if i mention their names uh, then it's their fear of life then that they're going to experience is he still active uh, mayor no more, Your Honor. I would like to move, uh, Mr. Chair, that we have an executive session with him later. Uh, at the appropriate uh, time, later, uh, I guess uh, we will consider uh, an executive session in order to get that vital information that uh, former Mayor Jed Mabilog would want to share Mr. with Chair. the committee. And, uh, and, perhaps, and perhaps he still have some, uh, he still have some uh, names to reveal to us. Uh, 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 Mr. Chair, what we're trying to do here is really investigate the, the very people that uh, should really be investigated on this because we're trying to put up, we're trying to craft legislation so that, that these killings would not in any way be done anymore in our country. Diba? Mr. Chairman. So, so, Perhaps, uh, Mr. Chair. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, if in the spirit of um, of time, no, uh, if uh, the uh, good uh, former mayor of uh, Iloilo will allow it, uh, maybe, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, baka hindi na natin masyado ma-accommodate yung uh, executive session to put that name in a piece of paper and submit to the... Uh, to this uh, Quadcom. Yes, Your Honor. In, in confidence naman po, uh, yes, Your Honor. we will be uh, holding it uh, in confidence. I can do that, uh, thank Your you, Honor. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Okay, okay thank Chair. you, Congressman uh, Dan Fernandez. Uh, Congressman Abante, you have 30 seconds left. Okay. Uh, itong sabi ng ni, ni, Mr., ni former President Duterte, no? ang sabi niya, saan na yung pinalatan mo, Mayor? Yung ba yung statement niyo, no? Saan ba si Mayor? Hanapin ko sila. Magbalik ka dito. Nagmura. Patayin talaga kita. Ibig sabihin, talagang itong ating former president, eh, merong galit sa'yo. Totoo po ba yan? Yun, sir, ang lumalabas, sir, dahil... Um, I'm, I'm wondering kung bakit talaga. ang former president ay talagang merong matinding galit sa'yo on that. Now, let me ask you, uh, 
mayor, no? Why don't you file a case, a case against him? Your Honor, as a, first and foremost, as a Christian, po, I have forgiven him already. Uh, uh, yes, uh, the thing is, yes. Uh, uh, and, Your Honor, I will discuss that with my uh, lawyers because I made to believe that uh, if you are, if a person is a president of, uh, is president, then he is immune to cases. So, I will, I don't know, Your Honor. He is if... now a private citizen, uh, Mr. Mabilog. And the thing is this, I, I, I do believe you that as a Christian we ought to forgive. Yes, Your Honor. Yet, I still believe, I still believe that we have laws in this land so that any crime committed should be paid for. Yes, and sir. that is what the law says. Yes, Last sir. 10 seconds, uh, Congressman Abante. So, therefore, Mr. Chair, I would like to just uh, uh, resolve this issue now. And uh, I hope that uh, uh, Mayor Mabilog would uh, be convinced in his own heart to, to file charges against those people that he believed would be... Uh, uh, because, Mr. Chair, more, more than seven years he left the country and, and he was emotionally disturbed and... Uh, very much depressed, Mr. Chair. So uh, I would like to suggest that uh, uh, he should file a case, a case against uh, the former president being a private citizen now. Thank you, Mr. Chair, for that. Thank you, Congressman Abante. The next to interpolate is Congressman uh, Paduano. You are recognized. Uh, thank you, Chairman. I thought it was uh, Chairman Akap. But anyway, Mr. Chairman, just uh, to go back to some clarity lang po with regards to the statement or the affidavit. Uh, but before made. that, let me acknowledge the presence of uh, Congressman Edward Maceda. Welcome to the committee hearing and Congressman Ernest Junisio. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, in the this list during the previous hearing, it was already confirmed and established by uh, retired uh, no, uh, Colonel Espinido. Now, when I asked uh, Colonel Espinido about uh, what happens in Bacolod City, in my home city, in which uh, one of our counselor was uh, ambushed, no? And uh, after a few months, dahil dun sa recommendation ni Spinido, it was, the name of that counselor was delisted. Now, question of the Duterte's list. Ito lang po, para malinaw, Chider na totoo po ba yung Duterte's list? Validated ba yung lahat nandun? Um, Dumaan ba sa vetting? Let me ask uh, DG Lasso, with regards to the case of, uh, of uh, Mayor Jed Mabilog, uh, DG Lasso, do you confirm that indeed in the PDA list as claimed by by Mayor Jed Mabilog, wala po ang pangalan niya sa PDA list? Yes, Mr. Chairman. But do you confirm that uh, uh, the name of uh, former Mayor Jed Mabilog was in the, name, in the list of the, the Tempest list? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman. Initially, it was not in the list, but later on, uh, the list was included, uh, his name was included. Right. For the record, timeline tayo. When you say initially it was not in the list, anong taon yun? Uh, Mr. Chairman, Your Honor, can I respectfully request our uh, Director for Intelligence Service to explain? Because uh, there is a little bit of a process that was involved and uh, he can explain and you know, you will understand how the Duterte list came about, Your Honor. In Very brief, short, po, in brief. Yes, yes, Your Honor. But we'll just focus in the case of, uh, uh, of Mayor Mabilog. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, it will be confined on the Mabilog case, Your Honor. Okay. So, will the Chair allow Chairman? Chairman Barbers? Will the Chair allow? Yes, uh, that is allowed, uh, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Chair, uh, Your Honor, sir, uh, I think uh, I have a two slides uh, presentation uh, for this, if you would allow. Gano katagal yan? Baka matagal umusin yung time ko. Uh, that is already the slide, sir. So, I will... Actually, sir, I can go directly to the August 7. And on August 7, 2016, this is the same presentation that was earlier shown by uh, Mayor Mabilog, and uh, it can be played. Please. 
um, yes, sir. Uh, Julius Ronald Pacificador, Amtek Antike, Jed Mabilog, I think he's the mayor. Iloilo City, Alfredo Salangotin Betbeta, Carles Iloilo, Marciano Malones, okay, uh, Maasin Iloilo. Sir, uh, this is the first time that uh, the president mentioned the name of uh, Mayor Mabilog, sir. And uh, this was August 7, 2016. If related to the list, sir, uh, the first. The first list, sir, actually was obtained by PIDEA on August 20 to 21, sir. And it contains 300, 300. 3,363 personalities. That is the first list. You're, you're, say, you're talking about the PRRD's list, huh? Yes, sir. Uh, it is officially called President's Drug List in paper, but then it uh, uh, became popularly known to be PRRD list. Please proceed. And... Uh, only on, let me just mention first that the second list that uh, you mentioned, sir, was obtained from the, again, from the Office of the President, dated August 29, 2017. This was merged with the first list. And the number is 6,191. It was only on October 19, 2017. When uh, the names mentioned earlier by the president, these were 159, including the, uh, the name of Mayor Mabilog, but the rest were already earlier included. So it, only 30 that was not yet included in the earlier list that were added. And uh, that's why the number is from the second list of 6,191, it became 6,221. Next. Mr. Chair. Uh, before we proceed with Mr. That, Chair, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, can we, can we, can, can uh, the PDA submit to us this list? Um, okay, let me again uh, remind the members that the topic for today's committee hearing is on POGOs. And if you would like to discuss and deliberate issues pertaining to drugs and EJK, then we will have to schedule it for the next committee hearing. However, we only allowed uh, PIDEA and uh, former Mayor Jed Mabilog to uh, discuss only for briefly the issues related to extrajudicial killings and others. So, um, if we can just probably ask PIDEA to submit no, to the committee the presentation you just made uh, so that in the next uh, committee hearing of the Quad Committee, we will uh, include that in the deliberations. So, I hope uh, the honorable members are, are uh, well informed on that uh, particular manifestation by the chair. So, Congressman Akok? Uh, with the intelligence of the honorable Paduano, uh, uh, yes, uh, one chair. clarificatory question. Uh, Pideya. Pideya. Noong in announce ni former president uh, Duterte, yung pangalan ni Mayor Mabilog, wala pa siya sa listahan. None yet, sir. So, nung pagka-announce, saka lang na ilagay yung pangalan ni Mayor Mabilog. Tama? Yes, sir. Long after. Long after. Yes, okay. Sir. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Honorable Padwano. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, can I proceed? Proceed. Oh, thank you. So, yung PDEA, at least they established na the name, 
O mayor mabilog was not listed in the original list. Yes, sir. Okay. No, no, no. It was only listed to the question of uh, Congressman Akop that after, long after, kasi 2016, yung statement of the former president, October 2017. Correct, sir. Na ilagay. And uh, kasama doon yung mga, sabi mo, kasama doon yung mga additional 30 names. Yes, sir. Okay. So, it was already established. Now, going back to, so, do you confirm now that uh, Mayor Mabilog uh, name is not listed in the official vetted, validated list of the PDEA? Uh, let me explain, sir. After that uh, pronouncement, sir, uh, that would auto automatically trigger the uh, law enforcement to conduct validation, sir. And so there were reports already after that. By 2018, sir, we were receiving reports. Although I am not saying that this actually confirms. These are reports, sir, about uh, Mayor Mabilog. Not necessarily confirming. But may, may, direct na lang po, direct yung pagkatanong. Direct yung pagkasagot. Is the name of uh, Mayor Mabilog was officially in the list? Kahit anong taon, in the list of the PDEA? Yes, now, sir. Now? Yes, sir. When was that? Now? Uh, after, after, because we now have the... Hey, ganito na lang po, para hindi, hindi tayo ma, uh, para mabilis. Please submit na lang to this committee. Kasi yung gusto ko makita yung timeline. Ngayon, established na po, na in the first list of PRD's list, wala po. ba? Diba? Then, October 17, saka po, inilagay yung pangalan ni Mayor Mabilog. Yes, sir. And... Balikan ko lang po, the statement, again, Mr. Chairman, I would just like to manifest the statement that was confirmed by Colonel Espinido during the previous hearing na lahat po ng pangalan na inilagay doon sa PR release list hindi po validated, hindi po dumaan sa betting because in the case of former Councilor Kanotan, which was ambushed and after few months through the recommendation of Colonel Espinido, tinanggal po pero naambus na po yung councilor namin sa Bacolod City. Yun po ang statement coming from Colonel Espinido because yun po, he has direct knowledge because he is the one that recommends to delist the name of former councilor Kanotan. Yun po ang established. Now ngayon, dito kay, kay, kay Mayor, former Mayor Mabilog, please submit to us those bases and documents that indeed from the PDEA, pinasok po ang pangalan niya. May I, uh, Your Honor, sir. Please proceed. Yes, sir, because uh, uh, I have to say yes because there are uh, PR degrees, uh, we have the first, second, and then the consolidated, and then we have the NDIS. In the NDIS, sir, uh, that is where the name now exists. But the, the, in the DIS, it is the official document or list from the PDEA. Tama? Yes, sir. Pero ipinasok nyo ang pangalan pero hindi pa validated yun. Uh, no, sir. It's... it's Correct, di ba? Yes, sir. Kasi uh, SOP, Standard Operating Procedure, all the names listed unless delisted by the President during the time is being put to the PDEA and then pinapasok nyo sa NDIS. Yes, sir. And the process of process of vetting and validation, ipoprocess pa yun. Di ba? Tama? Yes, sir. Pag nasa NDIS. Tama? Yes, sir. So, ngayon. So, it only concludes that all names in the PDEA na galing doon sa PRRD list is not yet validated. Tama? Uh, process of validation dapat. Uh, at, sir, at some point in 2019, the remedy was approved. So, that was validated already. The remedy... Meaning, uh, this was already approved. The guidelines was approved by the Malacanang. So, it become now the official uh, validated list, sir. It's... Mal Malacanang during the time of PRRD? Yes, sir. Okay, but now? Uh, we have already submitted that this be uh, deactivated uh, because this was created by Malacanang. So, we have to also seek their approval, sir. It's now, been submitted. Now, of the DILG. Yes, sir. Chair, okay, see, at least, at least, uh, malinaw. Anyway, Mr. Chairman, let me proceed with uh, 
with the next uh, question to my question to Mayor Mabilog. Mayor Mabilog, as you mentioned in your affidavit and as asked by the members of this committee, sabi mo po, tinawagan ka po, uh, you talk to General Bato. And 10 to 15 minutes after, tumawag po yung isang general na hindi mo po ngayon mapangalanan but uh, you will name that general during the executive session. Now, question. Bakit mas naniwala ka sa tumawag sa iyo na general kaysa assurance na binigay sa iyo ni General Bato de la Rosa at that time? Because uh, any shade of uh, doubt should be considered seriously. At saka alam, alam ko sir na alam ng general na yon na pinapabalik ako uh, ng Chief PNP. So I really didn't take the chance no more, uh, Your Honor. Ay, po. Tanong po, ganito. Kasi, of course, maniwala ka lang kung kilala mo. Kung malapit sa'yo. Kung you have acquaintances in the past. No? And uh, in your affidavit, you also mentioned about uh, texting your wife no? na huwag pumunta sa krame. Is it the same person? No, it's different, sir. Different? Different. Uh, so, yung nag-text sa wife ko, ay asawa po ng isang uh, PNP colonel. Tapos yung nags nakausap ko ay yung colonel. Tapos yung this is the dif is, this is a different person from the general who called me. So the general who called you, kilala mo talaga. That's why you believe in his warning compared to the assurance given to you by General Bato de la Rosa. I believe in the credibility of that uh, General Okay, at least it was a service. And the, the wife of that certain colonel, close pa sila ng wife mo? Magkakilala? May kwenta uh, siya? Magkakilala siguro, sir, because, uh, but uh, I don't know how close they are. Okay, anyway. Now, you mentioned about uh, if you went to Camp Krami, dalawang pwede mo yari. Based on the accounts, in your affidavit, anyways, you were told na you will pinpoint a certain former senator and a certain uh, presidential. Can you mention again the name of that senator and that uh, presidential? Uh, your Honor, if you would allow me, I can write their names also. Your okay. Honor. So you cannot mention now, Mayor? If I ask you, uh, better you answer yes or no. Is it Senator Maroas, former Senator Maroas? Yes, sir. Oh, is it uh, former Senator uh, Drilon, which is your cousin? Yes, sir. Oh, ayun. So, Mr. Chairman, kaya, kaya, kaya ko tinanong yun kasi... From the very start in the statement of the of Mayor Jed Mabilog and these preliminary remarks, it is all about politics. It is all about politics. Kaya, yung Duterte's list, again, the, from the statement of uh, Colonel Espinido, napakalinaw po na it was not, it, it does not gone through vetting and validation. Pagkalaban sa politika, nasalistahan ka. Yun yun po. Now, and lastly, uh, lastly, uh, question of, ano ba yung in the U.S., when you applied for asylum, political asylum ba yun? Yes, Your Honor. So you were granted after? 15 months, Your Honor. 15 months. That was when? Uh, March. March of March what year? of 2019, Your Honor. 2019. Of course, if you were granted political asylum in the U.S., they have the basis for granting you political asylum. Yes, Your Honor. And what is the basis in just the po? They just uh, gave the approval, Your Honor, that uh, the political asylum has been granted. In your request or application, ano pong just the po? Ano pong nakalagay doon? Why should the U.S. government grant you that political asylum being requested by you? Threat of life because of uh, the uh, um, 
No basis of uh, accusation on illegal drugs, Your Honor. So do you have any document with regard to that uh, granting no? you the political asylum? Yes, Your Honor, I have it. Okay, uh, please submit to this committee that uh, for the record of this committee, please submit that uh, document coming from the U.S. government granting you political asylum on the basis that uh, you have threat of your life. Yes, Your and, Honor. And uh, political in the sense, dial political yung basis on that uh, threat to your life. Yes, Your Honor. Actually, Your Honor, I think it's attached in the affidavit. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, for now, thank Mr. You, Chairman, uh, that's all for now. Thank you. Thank Gentlemen. you. Um, next is uh, Congressman Richard Gomez. But before that, let me acknowledge the presence of uh, Congresswoman Cutie Del Mar. I'm sorry, it's uh, Congressman Fernandez. It's not Gomez, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Congressman Fernandez, you're recognized. Okay, uh, ano lang, uh, briefly, in the interest of time again, medyo mahaba pa po tayo. Pogo tayo talaga ngayon today. So, uh, uh, ano, uh, Mayor, Jed, kasi uh, naalala ko, I was also mayor during that time. Yes, Your Honor. That the former president pronounced those mayors who were included in that uh, list. Yes, Your Honor. And um, I was a little bit scared as well. Kasi ando tayo sa Malacanang. And I remember the name Mayor... I was asking uh, the uh, good chairman, uh, ako, the name of Mayor ng uh, Cebu was Mayor Loot. Yes, Your Honor. And uh, I, I, were your name man mentioned in that uh, meeting in the uh, in the Malacanang during that time? Uh, no, Honor, Your Honor. Wala ka po. Pero, yeah. uh, do, do you remember the time that you were called in uh, in uh, ano po sa PNP? Were, were in there were a lot of uh, mayors as well yes your honor kasi i saw you in the uh, video during that time yes your honor can you recall those uh, names of those mayors i'm sorry your honor like sila mayor cesar uh, perez ng los baños laguna i cannot uh, yeah, i'm sorry your honor but uh, hindi ko po masyado I cannot remember the names so there were a time. lot of mayors oh, your mo honor most likely mga ilang lahat po. your honors ipinatawag at saka pumunta doon okay. because that was the order your honor that the following day we have to report to um, Camp Krame and then we were subject to investigation by a case uh, officer your honor oh, uh, Pideya, tanongin ko lang Pideya briefly lang ano? kasi gusto ko lang maliwanagan to kasi uh, dating mayor to ng uh, Los Baños Laguna eh, si Cesar Perez was he included in the first list of that uh, drug list that was uh, released? Uh, if you can give me three minutes, Your Honor, uh, we can... Sige, I'll come back with you. No? Yes, uh, just uh, please uh, educate me on that matter. Uh, Mayor, um, you were saying a while ago that uh, the reason why uh, you being included in that uh, list of the uh, narco uh, was because of politics. Yes, I believe, Your Honor. Uh, uh, but, but me also, I was... A Marojas uh, sympathizer. I voted for Marojas, but I was not included in the uh, narco list. Can Probably, you Your Honor, I would say that because uh, the um, sa then Senate Senator Frank Lula is my second cousin, and number two is uh, the <laughs> former president got the lowest percentage uh, votes uh, all over the country uh, in Iloilo, so. I really don't, I really couldn't uh, um, prove this, Your Honor, but I just think that that is the reason, Your Honor. In other words, you cannot uh, think of any other reason uh, to justify the, why you were uh, included in that narco list. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, meron pa ako isang tanong, lastly, you know, uh, yung pong uh, tinatawag po nating uh, uh, moment that uh, a certain uh, a general called you, no? Yes, Your Honor. Ten minutes lang po yun eh, di ba? Na magkasama... Uh, Fifth, about 10, 15, yes, yes. Your Honor. You, are you with somebody when uh, they called you in Japan? I was uh, by myself, Your Honor, You're... because uh, I was on my way to the international conference. Oh, and you believe also that General Bato, uh, who called you 10 minutes before, uh, he was with that certain general when he called you. I because would, uh, yes, I would think so, uh, Your Honor. Dahil ganun kabilis yung, uh, yes, yung, Your uh, Honor. yung uh, 
information that uh, was uh, given to you. Anyway, uh, siguro uh, kay ano na lang, ano, Pedea, can you kindly give us the, uh, the, the list kung kasama yung ano? Kasama ba? Mr. Chairman, uh, yes, the name is listed. Right from the very start of the uh, Duterte administration, he was already listed as a high-value target. And also, uh, yung kay uh, Mayor Tony, uh, Tony Halili, and also the may Mayor of uh, uh, Navarro of Sambuanga. These are the things that we need to, to clarify. Siguro ganito na lang, bigyan na lang lahat ng listahan kung kasama sila sa first list or pag hindi sila kasama, yung second list. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Okay, uh, with that, uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I'll be yielding back my time and uh, I'll be asking na lang po in the next, in the next uh, issue. Thank you thank, so much. Thank you because you have already consumed your time, Congressman Fernandez. The, ne <laughs> the next to interpolate, the second to the last, is Congressman Richard Gomez and then last would be Congressman Akop. Then we proceed with the the topic for today, which is POGO. Congressman Gomez, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mayor Jed, will it be okay if I ask you some questions? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Um, I was also a mayor during the time that you were mayor on your last term. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, and there are just some things that I'd like to, to ask. First, are you convinced that uh, during the year 2016, our country, the Philippines, was already in a narco state. Do I recognize did, it? Did, did you, do you think that the country was already in a narco state at that time? Your Honor, I was uh, mayor of the city of Iloilo. I, what I could speak of, Your Honor, because I don't have the data in the national level. Yes. So all that I have is as far as the city of Iloilo is concerned, Your Honor. With regards to Iloilo, during your term, uh, was Iloilo drug-free or drug-cleared? Uh, your Honor, there were existing uh, uh, drug personalities in the city of Iloilo. But uh, as what I've stated earlier, Your Honor, that uh, as far as mayor, being mayor is concerned, the function is for policies and yes. guidelines, while the enforcement is based on PIDEA and the police and the PNP, Your Honor. And every month we conduct our uh, anti drug abuse councils meetings, wherein the PIDEA regional director would uh, uh, report, as well as the Philippine National Police would also submit and uh, do their own presentations on their report. And uh, while Iloilo City recognized, but as I've said, Your Honor, uh, the report of the PIDEA then regional director, Paul Desma, said that uh, Iloilo was only number uh, third least affected in the country, Your Honor. So, and coming since uh, they are in charge of all the data, I believe in him, Your Honor. So, Mayor, will you agree with me if uh, I say that uh, a city can be drug cleared or drug free if the mayor wants it to be together with the help of the PNP. Uh, yes, Your Honor, but again, enforcement and the enforcement uh, as mandated by law is uh, done by PIDEA and the PNP. And uh, yes, uh, Your Honor, uh, this representation has uh, in several meetings, which is in our uh, in the agenda, in the minutes of the meeting, that I have called the attention of both PDA and PNP to address this matter, Your Honor. And again, the reports are uh, that, uh, especially from PDA, that Iloilo City was the third least affected. And so I believe in, in uh, Your Honor. Yes, the, the, the PNP is under the supervision of the mayor. Therefore, if we really would like to strongly uh, fight drugs, a mayor can do so, correct? Yes, uh, Your Honor. As a matter of fact, uh, 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 during my time, Your Honor, as mayor, I supported, I gave everything that uh, both the PNP and PDEA asked for uh, in terms of logistics, including uh, support uh, in their using the Intel funds of uh, that is allocated from the local government, uh, that is with the uh, local government, Your Honor. 
in spite of all the things that we do as, as mayors, Mayor Jed, what do you think is really the problem? Why, why drugs has continued to proliferate inside a city? As what I've said uh, earlier, Your Honor, it's, uh, it's the uh, system that has not been established. Your Honor, if I may say, in the local government code, the minimum requirement of a local chief executive is only 20 years old. You can already be elected as mayor, Your Honor. Municipal mayor, yes. Municipal mayor. And there are about 1,000 mayors all over uh, right. the country. Your Honor, uh, when I sat as mayor, uh, the DILG has uh, made seminars, guidelines on what to do uh, on good governance. But never have I attended, Your Honor, anything about illegal drugs from the law enforcement agencies, meaning from PIDEA or from PNP. So uh, what, the what I'm trying to say, Mayor, is, uh, oh, Your Honor, is that uh, for us to be able, as mayors or local chief executives, to be able to be equipped with the knowledge on how to address illegal drugs, we have to undergo that orientation training or seminar yes. from the uh, Philippine National Police or even from the PIDEA on how to address them or even to formulate these policies, Your, your Honor. Mayor Jed, you've been out of the country for seven years, correct? Yes, Your Honor. And uh, when did you come back? Just this uh, September 10, uh, Your Honor. Oh, because I wanted to ask if... Um, you'll be able to compare the situation in 2016 and right after you came back in the country, if there's a big difference or if there is a difference with regards to uh, the problem of drugs, let's say in your city. Uh, I have no data to yes, because uh, you just support came back. Yeah. Yes, I, I, I respect that. Mr. Chair, uh, I, I ask this uh, question simply to for us to see uh, the track record of uh, the, the former mayor of Iloilo. And... Um, in the next uh, hearing, Mr. Chair, I'd like to be given the, the opportunity to ask uh, more questions. Thank you so much, uh, Mayor Jed. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank, thank, you, thank you, Congressman uh, Gomez. The last to interpolate uh, is uh, Congressman uh, Romiaco. You are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Natanong na ni Honorable Karaps yung meet ng aking pagtatanong. Uh, may I just ask the uh, uh, former mayor, uh, Mayor Mabilo, kung you know a certain attorney, Antonio Pesina? Uh, yes, Your Honor. I know Antonio Pesina. Was he your counselor? Uh, no, Your Honor. No. He, uh, he ran under the opposite uh, party, Your Honor. Would you know if he's also included in the list? Uh, yes, Your Honor. I remember that he was. Uh, we were together in the uh, the following day that uh, in Camp Crame, Your Honor. And he's still alive. I have no idea, Your Honor. Thank you. How about uh, Mr. Romel Inyon and Bert Vargas? Do you know them? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Romel Inyon ran against me in. Uh, 2013 and Mr. Bird Vargas, uh, Your Honor, I know him. He is the husband of uh, a uh, schoolmate uh, from UP, uh, UP uh, Your Honor. And would you know whether it is true that he was arrested for alleged possession of illegal drugs at a checkpoint in La Paz district in Ilu, Ilu, Ilu City? I was informed, Your Honor. Thank you. At that time. And uh, he was also a mayoralty candidate. Oh. Would that be true? Mr. Bird Vargas, Your Honor. Are you referring to Mr. Bird Vargas, Your Honor? Yeah, Mr. Inyon. Mr. Inyon was a mayoralty candidate who ran against me uh, in 2013, Your Honor. How about uh, certain, uh, uh, I think he's already deceased, Mr. Daniel Fajardo? Uh, yes, Your Honor. He is already deceased. I know him, Your Honor. And uh, Manuel Mejorada. 
Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, he was the former provincial administrator, and he is now serving time, uh, Your Honor. Pero sila po ang kaso sa iyo. Yes, Your Honor. Thank uh, you. Now, may you know if a certain uh, Mr. Jeffrey Sellis, otherwise known as K. Eric, was your former spokesperson? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Jeffrey Sellis was my spokesperson, spokesperson in the year 2012. But uh, upon information of a city councillor, in 2013 that uh, he and his family went to Boracay to and used my name to spend his vacation in Boracay upon learning that uh, your honor I terminated the service so since 2013 he was no longer connected with me your honor and I don't know what happened to him after that it in, is his own thing your honor in paragraph 5 of your affidavit uh, you said one name was described to be a member of the House of Representatives despite not having been elected to any public office. Were you referring to Mr. Salis? Yes, Your Honor. His name was mentioned uh, during that fateful night uh, that he is a member of the House of Representatives, Your Honor. And uh, his name was included in that list also where your name was included? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, magkasama po kayo according to the list. Okay. Uh, may you know, uh, uh, yung mga sinabi ni Mr. Selis, eh, siya nagpatutuo lahat ng paratang po sa inyo ni Mr. Romel Inyon na kasangkot po kayo sa illegal drug. This is the first time that I've heard of it, Your Honor. Tinatanong ko lang kung alam po ninyo yun. No po, Your Honor. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, Mayor. Uh, may ano, uh, Mayor, bakit mas naniwala po kayo doon sa general na hindi nyo mabanggit ang pangalan kaysa doon sa salita ni Chief PNP uh, De La Rosa Your Honor at the time when I spoke to uh, uh, PNP Chief De La Rosa I really believed in him but after 15 minutes if you get a call from a general who is close to him then uh, this destroyed my believing in him so I did not take the risk Your Honor I just believed then uh, on the on what the uh, other general uh, told me, Your Honor. When you, when, you, when you were supposed to meet with uh, General De La Rosa, and it was postponed, I think, two times according to your uh, statement. Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Who made the calls to you to, regarding the postponement? I think it was General D, yes, Your Honor. The, your RD then? He, former regional. Your former RD, yes. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Are you are you friends with the, uh, General Bernardo Diaz? Uh, no, sir. Uh, he was assigned on the latter part, I think in 2016. And uh, I have never established a friendship uh, with General or personal relationship with General Diaz, sir. Pero, Mayor, from your statements, there were two generals who uh, who were with your side. Uh, and it was only, according to your statement, General Bato, who was not on your side? Uh, one colonel, Your Honor, one colonel and one general. Uh, the one colonel called uh, first before, and then when I spoke to General Bato, uh, this uh, general gave me a call so uh, parang it supported the statement of the colonel so that's why sir uh, I wasn't able to think no more I just believed in the last caller who was the general who told me not to proceed sir because uh, for the reason sir that uh, Previously, there are already several cases that have been with 
uh, general, the chief PNP, but what happened is in the end, uh, they were, they died, sir. So that's why I just, uh, all that I thought was to preserve the life of my, of myself and my family, sir. So the, the, the last call that you got uh, from uh, the officer, is that officer close to you? Or close to your family? No, sir, not that close, sir. And you still believed him? Uh, yes, sir. We were introduced, and uh, he was a former uh, Iloilo City, but not at my time as mayor. So, uh, but uh, yes, I believed him because uh, he was very sincere in telling me uh, that uh, uh, information, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you, uh, Congressman uh, Akop. Para sa iba pang karagdagang mga balita at impormasyon, ay huwag po nating kalimutang mag-like, share at comment sa video na ito, at huwag po rin nating kalimutang mag-subscribe to continue supporting us. Maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood at naway tangkilikin po ninyo ang aming YouTube channel.